Hello, my name is Dennis Krauss and I'm here to talk to you today about how to make silica water. The reason I got interested in silica water is my mother unfortunately has Alzheimer's disease. And I spent four years researching the cause and potential cure for Alzheimer's. In my research I found the cause is due to aluminum accumulation in your brain and I found that the potential cure or at least a preventative for Alzheimer's is silica water. And the easiest place to uh, start here in making silica water is looking at some of the tools I bought. But let me first say that I, the recipe for this procedure is in my book that I, uh, that I did write called Prevent uh, Alzheimer's Autism and Stroke. It's also on my blog and so you can find it written up in, in two places at least on the internet. So let's go through the procedure. Uh, I start with sodium silicate that I buy from Chemi the, uh, it's just called chemicalstore.com and I get the uh, low alkaline material, not the high alkalinity material from them. And I get it in this uh, two pound container. We're going to take and take scrump, measure some out of this container and for that purpose I use little tiny spoons. And these spoons are standard measures. I buy, them, buy these from the New Pro company. And one is a dash, which is a, big, a bigger one of the two, and the other is a smidgen, the smaller of the two. All my measurements are done with these devices. So I'm going to take out a level, what's called a level dash of this sodium silicate, and I level it out with this plastic spatula. So now it's perfectly level, perfectly flat and level, and that's my dash. And I'm going to do that same thing and put in two smidgens which are the smaller measures. So there's one, one level smidgen and two level smidgens. There. So I got one dash and two smidgens of sodium silicate powder in a measuring cup. And I'm going to fill this to a one eighth of a cup, which is just, about, it's about half of a quarter of a cup. So water, tap water. Now I'm going to heat it. It will not dissolve at room temperature. It must be heated to boiling for at least 30 seconds. So I put it on one minute. It takes 30 seconds to warm up to boiling, 30 seconds more to boil. And when it goes beep, we'll know that it's then time to dilute it down. But meanwhile, I can talk to you about other things that were going to be required for this. One is some sodium bisulfite, which we're going to use to acidify the water with before I filter it. And I filter it to remove all of the aluminum from the water. Also to basify it for drinking I add sodium bicarbonate or baking soda, Arm & Hammer in this case, and uh, I add a little bit of that again with these spoons to basify it. So those are the only chemicals I need for making uh, silicate. What we're going to end up with today is water that's almost identical in, in concentration and character to Fiji water, except we're making it here at home in our tap instead of buying it from the island of Fiji. This is an unsustainable solution for feed, uh, silica water, but indeed it's, uh, it's an easy way to get it if you don't want to bother making your, your own silica water. Okay, we now have it's boiling and it's clear. Uh, it's gone into solution and we're going to take and dilute it down a little and pour it into our pitcher back there and dilute it uh, all the way down to acidify it before we filter it. So we take this lid off and pour it in there. This is a gallon measure. It has four little dots on the side. You may not see those, but the top one where my thumb is is, is the one gallon point. I'll rinse this out with a little more water and then we'll just fill it up with tap water. Okay, so that rinses out the cup. We'll fill it up to one thing, a one gallon point with tap water. Now we're going to have a mixture of water that contains, of course, aluminum possibly coming from tap water and maybe a little aluminum in the sodium silicate. And we're going to have to acidify this and pass it through some ion exchange resin, which is a Brita filter. Basically a common pitcher style Brita filter. And that will get rid of the aluminum, any aluminum that is in there. But first we acidify because we get rid of most of the aluminum when it's acidified. So again, I use my dash measure and I make a level dash of sodium bisulfite. So that's a level dash. 
and I pour that in there. Cap this back up. And we stir this up. It goes into solution quite readily, so it doesn't take very much stirring. So you can look down in there when you see no more little white particles, you know you've applied enough stirring. Mm -hmm. There it is, they're all stirred in. So now we clear this out of the way temporarily and bring forward a Brita filter. This is a Brita pitcher style filter. It's got a white filter in the bottom and a uh, lid that goes on top like this. We pour this into that filter. And let that run through. And we'll do that in several batches until we've got it all filtered through all the complete gallon. So while that's filtering, let me just say this about the, the reason silica helps you. Silica and aluminum uh, basically have a great affinity for one another. So silica facilitates aluminum's excretion from the body. And so effectively the, the aluminum uh, goes around the body and you know, I can use a big word chelate or complex with the aluminum and force it to uh, be more easy, easily excreted or uh, eliminated by perspiration also. So we're trying to increase our level of silica in our blood in order to basically allow the aluminum to be flushed out of our bodies, which will protect us from aluminum, which is a known neurotoxin and I believe a causal factor of Alzheimer's disease. So right, we have filtered now all of that uh, water through a, a Brita pitcher style uh, water filter, and we've removed all the aluminum that was both in the tap water and the sodium silicate. We have a concentration that's equal to that of a bottle of Fiji water, and it's cost us approximately a nickel in chemicals for a gallon versus uh, for a gallon of this, you're talking about three to four dollars. So now we have to, it's acidic, they've been acidified to get rid of all the aluminum. We have to just add a little bicarbonate to bring it up to the pH of drinking water. We add two smidgens, two level smidgens. And then we stir that up. That was Arm & Hammer baking powder or baking soda that I used. All right, and now there you got it. This water, I call it silicate, but this water is identical to Fiji water. It can be drunk just like Fiji water as is, or you can add more minerals to it should you like. And uh, so some people like a lot of minerals, you buy more minerals. I'll only point out that the sodium bisulfite, uh, bis bisulfate is available from Amazon and uh, it's produced by uh, Loud Wolf. And these are sold as micro prills, which makes it little, little round balls, which makes it easy to measure with the uh, spoons. So I thank you for watching.